Welcome to PIB News Podcast for Civil Services. Upgrading Capabilities of Soldiers and Officers in Defence Forces The government has taken measures to de-stress and upgrade the capabilities of the soldiers and officers serving in the Army, Navy and Air Force. Details of the measures taken to de-stress and upgrade the capabilities of soldiers and officers serving in the Army, Navy and Air Force are as follows. The training of soldiers and officers, including recruit training for soldiers and pre-commissioning for officers, is conducted as per a well-planned schedule, wherein they are exposed to progressive levels of stress at physical and mental levels in order to undertake assigned duties. Annual planning of major training and administrative events to provide stability and predictability in commitments of personnel. In order to de-stress the soldiers and officers their daily and weekly routine and training schedule is well spaced out and is designed to improve their physical and mental capabilities. Annual and casual leave as per authorization. Regular interaction, monitoring and screening of personnel by means of formal and informal interaction during routine activities, interviews and scenic samulance at unit, formation and station level. Mechanism for redressal of grievances at unit, formation and station levels. Provision of psychological counsellors and medical facilities for personnel in need. Concept of buddy pairs and char yar wherein, personnel have common daily routine and interact regularly in order to ensure moral and mental support and identify cases of personnel with stress-related problems well in time. Welfare activities including provision of married accommodation, recreation facilities, schooling and higher education for children to provide stability in discharging domestic responsibilities. High-quality infrastructure for sports and amenities at unit and station level to promote better physical and mental health. Measures taken to upgrade capability following provisions are being implemented to improve the mental well-being and upgrade capability of soldiers and officers. All personnel are well trained on the service matters including weapons, equipment and administration in order to gain confidence and desired proficiency to discharge mandated tasks and duties. Operations-oriented training with reduced emphasis on ceremonial tasks. The training curriculum is aimed at ensuring overall development and grooming of the soldiers and officers to be able to undertake duties as per task and role at various stages in service life. Well-spaced out training schedule and daily and weekly routine. Timely promulgation and proliferation of information related to pay and allowances, entitlements, welfare schemes and provisions for serving and retired personnel including soldiers and officers in order to reassure and inspire confidence and faith in the organization. Utilization of simulators for more effective training where applicable. A tri-service study has been completed to identify the lead service for training on certain equipment trades. Also, the study has recommended the adoption of best practices prevalent in the three services to ensure better training of serving officers and men. The training patterns are continuously reviewed to align them with the requirements of modern warfare. New disciplines such as IT, cyber, space have been introduced. Further, training patterns have been reviewed to capitalize on the already available talent with the inducted personnel. Thanks for listening. Kindly, like, subscribe and share.